Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi. We're looking at a question. It's a little bit tricky. It says, which expressions have the same product as 56 thousandths times 3400? Select all that apply. Now, what's probably a good idea is to do the standard algorithm for 56 times 34 because we, we see that in several locations in the lineup. We keep seeing that 56 times 34. So we should find out what that equals. Now, here's the algorithm over here. Now, what we should know also, this is the algorithm for 56 times 34. So what does that mean? That means that if we were to simplify what's in this purple box, we would get this number. And um, we would see that again, you know, for this, right? 56 times 34, we would get that 1,904. Now, what if we actually think about where the decimal goes if we turn this into the equivalent that it is. So if we put a decimal here and we put a decimal here, where would the decimal go in the product? So we have to count how many positions we are away from whole number position for each factor. So here we're one, two, three positions, and this would make four and five positions. So a total of five positions away from whole numbers in both factors. So that means if this was a decimal, if this was a whole number rather, the decimal would go here. But we have to count one, two, three, four, five positions. So that means that the product of this times this is this value right here. This value right here. That value that I just circled, or box rather, in the yellow box. All right, now what does that mean? Let me get rid of that box because it's kind of in the way. So uh, let's look at choice A. Now we already know that 56 times 34 would give us this value. So the question is, if we take that value, and let me see if I can use this little tool here, and put that over 100, would that equal, so I'm going to try to, oops, that's not quite adequate. So if I think about that as a fraction, let me get my tool going here. So this is a fraction, right? 1,904 over 100,000. Let's go back to something that we talked about in class. So what I like to do is I like to take each factor and let's write it as a fraction. So this reads as 56 hundredths, right? 56 hundredths. So that would look like this. Or I'm sorry, 56 thousandths, my bad. 56 thousandths, because remember, this is the tenth place, hundredths, thousandths. 56 thousandths. Now this is the one that reads as hundredths. This is 34 hundredths. 34 hundredths. By the way, not an accident that we have one, two, three digits past the decimal and one, two, three zeros. Not an accident that we have two zeros and two digits after the decimal. Now, if we were to actually do the algorithm for 56 times 34, we already know that that's equal to 1,904. But what's 1,000 times 100 equal? Well, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. If we count up how many zeros, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So that means we need one, two, three, four, five zeros on the product. Now, is what we're looking at here, and maybe if I put a comma in there, it'll make it look more recognizable, is does this match this? Because if you're saying, yeah, it does, then you should pick that one. All right, let's take a look at B. If we did 56 hundredths times three, three and four tenths instead, let's go back to the algorithm here. All right, so that means the decimal would be here and the decimal would be here. We would still get these numbers, but where would the decimal go? Well, let's have a look. One, two, three positions. So we'd have to go in one, two, three positions. So what number are we really looking at? This is equal to one and 904 thousandths. Is that equal to this number? Because remember, everything has to equal this number, right? This is the magic number we're looking at right here. Does this number, look at it, 1 and 904 thousandths match this number? That would be a no. The decimal's not in the same spot, so don't pick that one. All right, so let's look at choice C. Again, we already know that this times this gives us this, and if we multiply that times this number, right here, I'm just going to move it over here as a factor. If we do the basic fact of 1 times this number, doesn't that give us the same number? So as a matter of fact, I think I have a collection of these down here. So let's move it over here. So 1 times this number would be this number. But remember, when you have a factor that's a decimal, 
you have to ask yourself, how many positions am I away from whole number position? So this would be one, two, three away. So we need to go in one, two, three. So that means that this entire product would be equal to one and 904 thousandths. Is that equal to this? No, it is not. So don't pick that one. All right, likewise for this, we already know that the product, we already have been talking about the product of 56 times 34 being this, right? This 1,904. So let me move this down here. Now, what would the product of this times this be? Well, the numerator would be a one. What would the denominator be? Well, we know that one times one, this denominator has a, a one in it, and so does this. And one times one is one. If we just count the zeros, it's one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. Now, remember, this is the same thing as this over one. Now, in the end, what is that really going to mean? That means that we're going to take this number and write it over top of the denominator that we see there. So in other words, what would this equal? Let me clone this to make this a little bit faster. It would equal this over this number, right? Because 1 times this number would be the same number, which is 10,000. Now, is, does that match this? Doesn't it seem like we're short a zero there? We're short a zero, aren't we? So don't pick that one. <laughs> All right, and now let's look at choice E. 56 thousandths, doesn't that match what we have here? 56 thousandths, 56 thousandths, right? That's the same thing as this. 34 hundredths, doesn't this read as 34 hundredths? Don't, if we look at it as a fraction, doesn't that read as 34 hundredths? So if we actually multiplied that out, wouldn't we end up getting the same thing we've been talking about in the yellow box and here in the green? All right, so um, if you need to replay this and listen again to when I say don't pick that one or we should pick that one, might not be a bad idea because remember you have to select all that apply and to eliminate the uh, likelihood that people are not listening to what I'm saying, that's why I'm not actually circling it, but you should bubble it in as you go.